That is really creepy. Distributions clerk. with cleanliness. Cleanliness, cleanliness, cleanliness. Ever since... Ever since he or I... I guess. I feel like we're the same person. So I'm just gonna say I. Ever since I came back from the jungle, I've been obsessed with cleanliness. Hmm. I thought I heard the beginning of a record. Uh, is it playing in reverse? I think it's playing in reverse, whatever it is. May 1st, 1899. But then, what if they could stand upright and walk as men? What if the brute were harnessed thus? Would they sing? Would they find their own god? I have seen these things, and I will tell you now. No, no, they will not. But they will happily accept fealty to a god thrust upon them, and worship it thus given. In this, I realize, they are no different to the masses. They are much the same as us. Once this irrevocable threshold is passed, I understand that we too are, un are shackled, and must be set free. To free the man, we cut the man. In order to cross that great evolutionary line, it must first be painted upon the ground. To free the man, we cut the man. Does he mean for people to be free, they need to be sh freed from their bodies? I think that's what he means. August 22nd, 1899. In America, they talk of building their cities to the skies. To me, this seems folly. But perhaps it is simply a case of a nation founded without a history of its own. We walk upon our histories. They are compacted into the very loam beneath our feet. The engineers we employed talked of this. And they talked of how, when building the underground trains, they would often come across older tunnels crisscrossing the capital. What palaces lie buried beneath us? We are digging, digging, excavating, and reappropriating what we find. At the center of the planet, my architect tells me, there is a great iron ball. It is the egg of the world. What the fuck? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six pairs of glasses. And eight pairs of, well, not pairs, but eight lines of teeth or jaw bones. What the fuck? What happened here? Wait, 
Wait a minute, where am I going? Where did I come from? I... Yeah, this way. Here we go. Wait a minute. That clock wasn't moving. What the hell? It just started. It started when I opened the door. It doesn't even have any hands. You know what I just realized? Something could be watching me right now, and I wouldn't know it. Okay, so, yeah, it's not just a mansion. It's like a whole factory complex. Multiple factories all next to each other, plus a mansion to live in. Hell, it's it seems practically like we've got our own town. And it looks like all of the factories and all the buildings are interconnected. You can just go straight between them. This would have required so much money to make. So much money. October 11th, 1899. We integrate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of a laudanum derivative in feed to subdue the product even before the initiation of the process. This means that when we drag them from holding pens onto the line, they're less likely to, likely to panic and damage machine components, other products, or themselves. This section of the belt is sheathed in rubber and kept well lit to maintain good spirits. And we've actually found that the intelligent placement of gramophones and simple acoustic amplification tubes around the line means we can use music to further soothe the product. We find Debussy, or however you pronounce that name, particularly effective in this regard. So, they use painkillers and music to soothe the product as they call the pigs, product. Something tells me the pigs aren't too happy about being called product. Well, this looks different. Warning, fueling pumps, volatile, volatile chemicals are in use. These materials are highly corrosive, wear protection. But, dead pigs. Normal pigs. Not walking pigs. Is it missing its eyes? It's missing its eyes. Ugh. Pumping station. It appears to be some kind of fueling station. I have seen automobiles demonstrated at Mr. Yarham and Mr. Simmons' works, but the smell here is all wrong. This is not petroleum, of that I am sure. Everything suggests to me that this machine must be significant in some way. 
Wait, I haven't read these. The path is clear. It seems this chemical processor is merely one of uh, one part of a much larger complex. No easy route for me, then. I will follow my fever, the calls of my children wherever they lead, may lead me as I move further into this strange empire. Wait, when was that? Hmm, I guess I missed it. The factory offices. All the suggestions of a large workforce, yet no actual signs of life. It is... Uh, it is every bit as if someone had attempted to carefully create the illusion of a working factory complex, yet this facade, when examined closely, is clearly just a falsification. But I must put aside my anxieties, quell the unease that pits my stomach, and continue on my path. Truck Fueling Station. Okay, so I guess I can fuel up some sort of container. But I need the container, and I need something to uh, use the container on first. Do they all not... They all don't have their eyes. I am amongst the pigs now. Where does that go? Hmm. Out to the street. Oh yeah. I just walked up there. In that cage. Strangers not allowed on this works and inquiries to be made at the lodge. What does that grab? This... Wait, can I actually open this? Oh, I can. Mm, partially. Boycott. Ban swine stench from our streets. Mandis factory, Mandis factory must close. Wow, apparently this place is making a horrible smell that uh, people very far away could smell. Yard. Wait, I just got a note even before I picked up a note. Holy orders. This church is connected to the plant. How odd. However, it does suggest another route into the main part of the facility, given the locked doors around the fueling station. The truck blocks my way, however. Almost as if the saboteur knew that I might consider this alternative entrance. Okay, so I need to move the truck. Gotcha. Delivery schedule. How in blazes are we supposed to meet these damned schedule f schedules is if... Wow, I can't even talk. <laughs> How in blazes are we supposed to meet these damned schedules if even the basic equipment we are provided with simply will not perform its designated function? These cursed newfangled trucks will only run a fraction of the distance my old nag managed before running out of stinking gasoline. The gaffer says it's fine and there's plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory walls, but you end up dragging a, a blessed tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it, and the one in the storeroom is empty again. 
I can't be turning the crank handle all day only to find the tank is empty. Well, sought it, I... Uh, sought it, says I, enough for a night into my bed I go. It's not like anyone needs access to the bleeding graveyard anyway. Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you in the... Uh, Damson Templar for a jar. Gee, thanks, buddy. Super convenient for me. Really appreciate it. <sighs> Come on, Papa. Let's climb this one. I can see more pictures at the top. Sounds like the church bell. Alright, well I need a tank. What the hell are those red things? And why did they just disappear? They're back. What are those? Red lights, I think. Chemical transportation, danger, highly corrosive, highly flammable. Okay, there's one of the things. What the? Uh... Is this like a dumbwaiter? Whatever it is, I think it's broken. Yeah, it's broken. A strange container. And this canister looks as if it uh, may fit the fuel pump I saw earlier. It certainly carries the same fetid, unholy reek. I will not think of that which I saw pass me in its cage. I will not gaze again into that dark machine room. A more immediate task presents itself and the opportunity perhaps to gain access to St. Dunstan's. Yep. It's a bunch of cages going by. Alright, so that's showing me where I'm at. Yeah, so I moved from that one to that one. Alright. Let's go refuel this thing and move that truck. Just, um, let me just peek in first. Okay. Come on. Fe oh, shit. Not fast enough. That was not fast enough. Nope, no, nope, not fast enough. A fast getaway. Dear sweet lord of all that is good and holy, I must make my escape. Grasp this container and its putrid contents and flee this place before that creature, that nearly man, returns. I will head for the church. 
Surely such an abomination could not follow onto hollow ground. I hope you're right. I hope you're right, Mandis. Grab the container and we're out of here. Is it full? No, it's not. Come on. Oops. Come on. And let's go. I just realized, oh my god, the sound design is so good. You can hear the liquid sloshing within it. Okay, not when I move it, but when I run. That is so cool! Wait a minute, that, that mask, that pig mask was not there before. Alright, alright. Um, can I get in this thing? Or what? How do I... Like, do I need to grab... I can't grab any of these boxes. I mean, I should be able to just step up and turn it on, right? R right? Um... I mean, you operate the truck from the seat, right? Do I need, like, a key? Do I go this way? Doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe... yeah, or... no? I'm confused. I don't get it. Do I need something else? And if so, what? Like, is there a magic button I'm missing? Logically, you would step into the driver's seat, or... Oh, right! It's an old as shit car, you don't... yeah... They don't have starters, at least not like that. You gotta crank them. That was loud as hell, but okay. Oh. A graveyard. This way, Papa. Come and see. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? Yes, my darling. Of course we can take it home. What is it? Somebody tried to bury a pig. Well, this is a candle, so this had to have been put there recently. What the hell? What is that? It's humanoid. I really don't want to go down there, but okay. 
livestock, and Bibles. The wires came up out of the ground, whilst he lay on the grass asleep, like serpents they were. And they burrowed into his ears and became his listening. Inside St. Dunstan's. We sat here, I remember. We sat in our black and we mourned and we prayed and we bowed our heads. How I hated God then, how I spurned him. If this is our Lord, this pig who robs me of my wife, then I refute his embrace. I will carve a new God for us all. Such madness, such a fool I was. If such blasphemous ravings had remained within me, I would be doomed. But even here, I feel the machine throb beneath the flags, and I know my path awaits me. November 23rd, 1899. Twin candles, bent to the will of the central saint, casting their light to the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought, could be trusted with the secret, but he is like all of the others. So the old priest has gone to the holding pens with his flock. He says he will enter into our world with them. A shepherd indeed. Gone to the holding pens with his flock? Thought he'd be trusted with a secret, but he couldn't. What is the secret? What? This isn't just a machine for pigs. It's not. It's obviously not just a meat processing plant. There's more to it than that. That much is clear. Wow, something that actually goes up. That's amazing. That also goes up. Where the hell is that music coming from? <laughs> Rotten pigs. That one's a secret. 
Apparently I can light the candles too. Cool. Oh, wait a minute. I need another one, don't I? There's one missing. A cryptic clue. Some kind of mechanism. A secret and infernal one, no doubt. The missing candlestick is clearly the answer. But why? This I cannot fathom. Why hide secret machines in a place of prayer? And where are the faithful? Why are there drag marks about the altar as if someone was pulled away? Just everything about this place is twisted, just perversions. Just rotten meat. Oh, it's locked. Got a coal furnace thing there. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. See if there's anything left on these benches. I don't think so. There's random books strewn about. shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity, one of steam and the wheel of magnetism and progress. The old god is nothing more than a lamed hog, spitting back offal at mankind. A scream in the distance. Wonderful. Hello. I found you. Father Jeremiah's journal, October 1st, 1899. They flock to us now where once I had to walk amongst them to bring salvation into their lives. Now, drawn by warmth in winter, by the food that Mandis distributes, my church is full and my charges are saved. He walks amongst them and they almost worship him. He will not allow them to work in his factories, claiming that his workforce are specially trained for the new machinery he uses, and that it would be irresponsible, nay, unethical, to risk such precious lives as he sees here. A changed man since Mexico. It is to be praised that in the face of such appalling tragedy, and from the confines of a sickbed, as he is often chained to, he conducts one of the greatest and most benevolent charities in all of London. Not content with the rise to become the dominant food produ uh, produce business in the land, he distributes his goodwill, his fares, to the poor, and they congregate about his kingdom in gratitude. Wow, so I've become like a superpower. I become a... Mandis is... well... His business is massive. One of the greatest and most benevolent charities in all of London. That's huge. His workforce are especially trained for the new machinery he uses.
His workforce wouldn't happen to be pigs, would it? A machine for pigs? Run by pigs? Specially trained for the new machinery. Hmm. I think it opened somewhere in here. Oh. What? Why? Should I even ask why that would work? Move a couple candles around the altar and the f it lights on fire? Uh, okay. Damn it, where's the J key? There it is. Well, actually, that's M, I think. Or is that J? I don't know. I can't see my keyboard. It's dark. Infernal machinery. The engine fires. The flames are stoked. I hear steam in the walls. Vibrations upon the very air. My heart falters at the prospect of throwing the lever and exposing the workings of this dark contraption. But my children beckon me on and I cannot fail them. Right you are. Oh my. A hellish portal. It appears I have no choice. Thus I descend and may God have mercy upon my soul. If this is my bedlam, or bed, yeah, whatever, I don't know. I'm not going to try and worry about mispronouncing things too much. And I am to be cast as Matthews? Then I will wear that mantle for the sake of my boys and face whatever horrors lie beneath the altar. Shit. Pages. Blood. Looks like some slop, some feed. And what almost looks like a pile of clothes. Listen, Papa. Hold the egg to your ear. You can hear the sea. I swear that's clothes. What was held in these cages? Dead rats! As feed, what the fuck? I hear pigs. Wait, is that a boot? That's a boot! There were people in these cages. People being kept in the cages like pigs and fed slop and dead rats or... Yeah, what? Oh. <laughs> I hear them. These final thoughts. What exhumation is this? What rotten fruit? What bee-stitching of parts? I doubt I will ever be found. 
Yet I leave you this, scrawled in the malodor mal malodorous half-light. Whilst my tormentor shuffles below, my fellow prisoners keen and squeal in the gloom, uh, gloam. And where I wait for the knocking upon my cage that signifies it is, finally, my turn to make that dark journey into the interior. My fellow prisoners keen and squeal in the gloam. I don't know if that's just like an old spelling of gloom or not, but anyway. Fellow prisoners. With rotten fruit, with bee stitching of parts. Is this written by one of the... things? I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting for the knocking upon my cage that signifies it's finally my turn to make the dark journey into the interior. It's written by one of them, whatever they are. Pigmen? They can write? There's people in these cages, right now. People and pigs in these cages. I have no idea what language that is. A baby? What? Oh! jump into it? Do I want to? No, I can't. I'm down here with them. I think I just saw it. I... Oh my god. It's right there. that thing it's like body parts from a human have been stitched onto a pig it's not even walking right it's not walking normal oh 
Oh, thank God. Loading screens are your safe time. And so to the stoking. The fog will not lift. The ship is becalmed. Everyone lies in the half light, waiting to drown in the dry air. He is the paperweight that ballasts them. Another cart full of carcasses. No, this one's empty. There's something entrancing about just watching these bugs go for the light. Where did all these barrels just come from? I guess there's a stack of them here. Water in his shoes. Always the water and the sparks of the embers of the wheels. It's too bony. It's too damn bony. Whoever that is talking just sounds absolutely mad. Mandis Co. The Mandis Processing Company. My soul shudders at what I have seen, but at last I have reached the main part of the factory. Now onwards, downwards, to find those floodwaters and drain them away. Like Moses, I will cleave the waters and lift my little darlings clear of its vile cradle. Now I am here. Oh, this is the level of the ground, isn't it? Right here. Yeah. I haven't gone underground yet. Yep, because that's a tree. That's a tree right there. These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. And these fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government, they make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now.
That's actually really pretty. Look at that. Piston rooms. Those are actually really beautiful lights. Oh dear. This is some big machinery. Oh. There's another one. It's like this place just kicked. As if it's a heart that just tried to beat, but wasn't able to restart itself. I just realized my lantern is flickering at the same time that the lights do. It's like there's something disrupting all of them. Wait, what is down here? Okay, when faced with a choice to go up or down, I'm going up. Wait a minute, is this... Oh! That's a truck! What the hell? Who or what was driving that truck? Hear me, Mandus. I am compromised. Our contacts must be brief and occasional. Beware the wretches who populate this compound. The way you seek is under the pistons. When you meet the saboteur, you will understand everything. Down we go. See, that is why I don't like to go down. But I have no choice. Need to go down. Looks like we're going to have to start this beast up, I think. Could put in some more, I suppose. I don't know if it needs it. Can't hurt. What does that mean? Flashing red light. Does that mean there's not enough? Actually, it doesn't even open. I think I just need to hit a switch or something.
Oh, there we go. Piston control room. That'll probably be it. Don't know where that noise is coming from, but I'm shutting the door. That fan is disturbingly close to my head. Stop. Fire, uh, are your furnaces fueled? Yes. Wait, there's a third one? One is already running, one is filled up. What about the other one? Hmm. Let's read around first. October 18th, 1899. A series of collecting vents have been installed along the ceiling at this stage of the line. In the process of stunning and bleeding, the product often expels stinking vapors from its digestive system, which can be collected, condensed, and used in the methane boiler to drive the engine as a whole. In this way, the more product, uh, the more product is processed, the more power becomes available to the machine, and productivity is actually increased. A simple stroke of genius, but one that encapsulates the benefits of self-regulatory automation. Such a disturbing way to refer to it. The product often expels stinking vapors from it. Ugh. Oh, here's the next one. Yeah, this one looks like it's working. Oh, we got two more. Might need those. And there's even more. And there's more. Alright. So how many do you need? Two? I'm thinking two or four. No, just two. Alright, so that's number three. <laughs> a bloody sledgehammer. It's comforting. Alright, which num- uh, what the hell, let's hit them all. Okay, well that's a big fail. Four is good, yes it is. Two and six are not. Okay... Three is not. Wait, what do you mean three is not? It's in there and... Hmm. I can't hit the button, can I? Oh, you do! You hit the green button, never mind. Two and six. Alright, let's go back. Bingo! That one's going. Okay, good, good, good. Six need to be needs to be gotten going, but that is not here. Okay. Five and six coming up. Five is good. Fire and steel. The fires are stoked. Assuming the same architect is responsible here as with the chemical plant, I surmise that a centralized control system regulates and operates the pistons. It should be a simple matter of finding it and hoping the saboteur relented after simply ex extinguishing the fires. Yep. No entry to the under... No entry to the under pistons when machinery is at rest.
Everything is good? Yep. Alright, here we go. Oh. I don't like that. Holy shit, it is really loud. I couldn't hear anything if it was coming up right behind me. Alright, I need to get the hell out of here. Oh! Shit, I need to go that way. I need to go that way. Oh man, I have pissed them off. They are riled up because of all the noise. All the activity. Shit, I need to go this way. I have to go. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ooh, 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 oh. Okay. Kinda close behind me. I'm that close behind me. <laughs> the warm glow of these lights is about the only comfort I have down here. Oh shit! Hide. Hide. Do not use your lantern. Do not use your lantern. They'll see. Oh. oh I just saw it. I'm going this way. I think it just saw me. I can't see anything. I just pissed it off again. That was stupid. Stop using your lantern. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. It's getting further away. I, I can't see. I can't even sneak around if I can't even see it. I might run into it. Fuck. I can't see anything. shit. I don't even know where that came from. But I'm gonna stay right here. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. <gasps> Did it see me? Oh my god.
Where do I need to go? It's coming back. What the the way it walks? What I Oh my god, what is it? The only way to see what it is truly is to shine a light on it, and I'm not doing that. Those are human hands. I think those are I think those are human hands sewn to a pig's body. Uh can I Shit, can I not go here? Okay, I can't go there. It's gonna come back. Where am I going? I, I got the machinery so loud I can't hear. I do not know where the hell I need to go. I, I feel like that conveyor belt was where I needed to go, but it seemed like I couldn't move the box. Maybe I can and I'm wrong. I'm gonna try it again. Where is it? Where is that thing? Can I, can I not move that? Okay, I'm good for now. No, I can't even get on that. No! What am I doing? Oh god. I don't know where it is. I can't hear anything. God, I just want to leave. Just take me the fuck out of here. This place isn't very big, there's not very many places for me to go. Can I turn something? What the hell am I doing? Can I do something with these coal burners? Seriously, I, I don't get it.
I feel like there's something I need to turn. But it doesn't seem like there is. I can't move any of this stuff. I can't jump on it either. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Seriously, it's right- oh my god. I'm an idiot. It was just an opening right there. Whoops. Do I hear something? Oh god. <laughs> oh god, Jesus Christ! It saw me. It fucking saw me. It is right behind me, I don't even want to know how close. Ah, uh, go! Oh! Oh! Into oh. <sighs> the coal conveyors. The descent continues. What did that dark voice instruct me to do? Under the pistons, into the tunnels, and onto the bilge pumps. And if the doors should be locked, I will have to find another means of descent. I cannot trust him, but my path is set. I shall ignore those noises. That snuffling, those shuffling steps below me. I will brave whatever lurks beneath and I will save them. Wait, I missed this one. Lily's arms are made of steel. Lily's arms are silent. The pistons are silent. The plant is at rest. I must poke the hornet's nest to open my way, I fear. The scale of these engines suggests a far greater work than is visible from the surface. So my friend must be correct, and the larger part of this plant is underground. We are close to the... Uh, how's that pronounced? Thames? T uh, th I, c I can't remember. No wonder flooding is such a risk. I can't remember how to pronounce that. Seems like I've said that every note. Like, I don't know how to pronounce something every single note that I read. What's this way? More coal. And even more coal. Hmm. Wait, was the other way not where I was supposed to go then? Now I'm curious. Or maybe this isn't where I'm supposed to go. Nope. This is very much not where I'm supposed to go. Compound X storage, danger, no naked flames. Compound X, that doesn't sound good. Alright, that's where I'm at. April 30th, 1899. The crate arrived this morning, and I had it delivered directly to the workshop. The body is remarkably preserved, although there is a subtle yet nauseating stench of damp and rot. It is humanoid in shape, but has suffered severe skeletal deformity. Remnants of leather straps encase the torso, which is deformed, with evidence of substantial mass, uh, muscle mass and displacement. 
It is difficult to ascertain whether this unfortunate is the recipient of some barbarous surgery or was born deformed and an attempt to force his gnarled body into some semblance of humanity was made. What he is I cannot tell, but I smell the orb upon him and suspect my great uncle's presence in his curious condition. So it can be done. We can reshape the body into a tool, accelerate the processes of Mr. Darwin's evolution. But here my great uncle and I part company. He chose men as a subject of his experiment. But men are difficult to control and rotten with sentimentality. No, we require a new creature for our chattel? I, another word I can't remember how to pronounce. Loyal, clever, strong, easily s sated. Hmm, like pigs. Difficult to control, so they chose pigs. <laughs> Alright, well now what the hell do I do? Locked door. Another locked door. I can't go back up even if I wanted to, and I certainly do not want to. Locked. Wait a minute, can I... Oh. There we go. In the nest of eggs. The factory is quiet now. Stumbling the alley, a wrench hung loosely from his hand. Oil and grease dripping off it. Looking like blood in the half-light. Well, uh, I'm in my very own cage. Oh, what am I? Oh, God. Hold on, Mr. Telephone. Sabotage. Bruised and battered, but alive. I have survived the saboteur's best efforts. He and I are now locked in an epic struggle. But I am driven to find my family, and I will prevail. Ignore the madness about me. Do not consider what cruel and unspeakable acts have been committed here. Find the way to the bilge. Drain the flood. Free your children. Quickly, Mantis. Find the entrance nearby. The children weep in the darkness, and the floodwaters continue to rise. Oh, wow. We are getting into the science part of this uh, place. Yeah. Yep, yep. Alright, well, before I continue, I'm going to end this episode here. So far, I am liking this a lot. A lot. It's... So, there's some interesting changes from the original Amnesia. Just design-wise. And in terms of the overall structure, I think the biggest difference is that it's much more slow burn. Like, I mean, the, uh, the original Amnesia, The Dark Descent, was fairly slow burn on its own. But uh, this is actually even more so. I've, I've been playing for about three and a half hours. And I've just, like, barely started to encounter the creatures. 
It's actually a lot more slow burn than I thought it would be, but I like it. I like it a lot. Other than that, a couple interesting things is that they've kind of, well, they changed the torch mechanic, or the lantern mechanic. So now it's no longer a cone around you, but instead it's more directed. And also it does not have fuel, or anything like that, so it's it's not a resource that you have to manage. Another change is that you don't need tinder boxes to light stuff. So, so basically, um, those like survival mechanics or elements have actually been simplified. You know, no fuel and no tinder boxes. So you don't have to worry about that anymore, which is an interesting change. Whether that makes it better or worse, I don't know. Honestly, at this point, I don't know. But it's different. And it's interesting. Anyway, yes. I'm really enjoying this. And I will be back soon. And we'll go even deeper into the machine for pigs.